Evansville, Indiana is more than a 12-hour drive from East Stroudsburg, Pennsylvania. But for the top two teams in the Atlantic region, it's really only 40 minutes away at this point. And what a 40 minutes it promises to be. Welcome inside Kaler Fieldhouse alongside Aaron Berlin, Kyle West here for the Atlantic Regional Final. These two teams, both top 10 in the nation, both high intensity, high throttle, and oftentimes high scoring basketball, a style of basketball which East Stroudsburg has branded 94 feet for 40 minutes. It's high noon on Halloween in Shepherdstown, West Virginia, and the West Liberty Hilltoppers enter the haunted house of the number six team in the nation but they are hoping to put some fear into the Shepherd Rams today and come away with an upset. We welcome you into Ram Stadium along with Coach Olam, Kyle West here, the always frightening duo joining you from Shepherdstown. Always fun when you have a ranked opponent. West Liberty has already defeated number nine Concord this year, Coach. First time they've ever played two top ten teams in the same season, and they are looking to double up on the upsets. West Liberty with the ball. A seven-point advantage. Whoa, Grossenbacher from Bonifant. Give and go, and two emphatic points. Timeout, Concord. West Liberty putting 21 points on the board in the third quarter and with possession as the fourth quarter begins. Big third and four, though, to try to keep this possession going. Conwell with a hard count. Notre Dame does not jump this time. Now Conwell on the move to his left, squares up, fires, and completes. Ian Kelly snags it, and now he's sprinting down the sideline. He's all the way to the end zone, and West Liberty has a chance to tie it with an extra point. 27 unanswered for the Hilltoppers here in the second half. 46 yard line, so Conwell can either throw one up or they could try to give McCallum the ball in space. Glenville lined up appropriately. They have four defensive backs all lined up along the 20 yard line. Conwell skies it toward the end zone. Cannon goes off, his tipped, is caught. Dylan Potts has it, touchdown Hilltoppers. The <laughs> cannon goes off and it's celebrating a West Liberty touchdown. And now an extra point can send it to overtime. Ramon Lee has been featured for the latter stages of this game. Right now he's in the left slot. Drake is the back. But there's no panic here. You know, West Liberty just keeps him out of the end zone. A field goal gets you another overtime. Looking to throw, Steele completes it to Lee. Look out here, he spins past one tackle, stretches for the pylon, ball is out. Touchback, the Hilltoppers have won the game. Ramon Lee lost the ball, it goes through the end zone. West Liberty, 27-24, double overtime. They shock the Pioneers. <laughs> you know, the things you see during a football game here, Kyle, beautiful facility here, we got a Massive hillside we're looking straight over at, and it's mowed off, and I looked up, and I saw a little kid rolling down a pretty steep hill, and then I looked to my right, and there's a horse grazing. That is the horse that the Cavalier rides in on at the beginning of the game, and, well, there's live television in action <laughs> for you there. Almost on cue. Yeah. Apparently, he's a little camera shy. <laughs> Second and 10 at the 14-yard line. Conwell runs forward, has the first down, looking for the goal line. He finds it. Touchdown, West Liberty. It comes in the final five minutes of the second quarter, so it took longer than the Hilltoppers were hoping for, but West Liberty is on the board and a chance to take the lead. Didn't mean to talk over you. I'm sure our viewers would much rather hear your voice than mine. I highly doubt that. That's a straw poll we do not want to take. <laughs> I think the independent candidate would win. <laughs> that's, that's a good point. 